Josh and I are going to review our last bike ride, the Mega Manitoba movie, in the summer of 2021. Some of the highlights and some of the not so good days. So we're going to both talk about our favorite bike ride this past summer and then our least favorite. Well, since Joshua highlighted our bike ride through Riding Mountain National Park, uh, that was going to be my favorite highlight. Uh, but I guess the runner-up would be our bike ride either from, where did we start that day? Um, St. Malo to uh, Moose Lake or Moose Lake all the way to West Hawk. Uh, or West Hawk all the way to Otter Falls. Uh, the other bike ride I have to say that was really good was when we went to Turtle Mountain. So that was from what we started from Deloraine and yes. then went to Turtle Mountain. Yeah. Uh, we came into Boisevain first and then went into Turtle Mountain. But uh, that was a really, really nice bike ride too. That was a really nice day. When we got there, it didn't turn out to be so nice because the water was not drinkable there. Uh, there were signs everywhere saying, don't drink the water, whatever you do. Uh, we experienced one of the most uh, worst droughts in all of Manitoba history, and uh, the water simply was not drinkable there. I think the guy, his name was Tom. He was from Deloraine. Uh, he and his wife were going for a little bike ride uh, in the park and noticed us, and he realized that we were on our bikes and knew that we didn't have water and knew we couldn't get water so he uh, offered us all the water that we could uh, haul yeah. uh, on our bikes in our water bottles and in Joshua's Camelback so that was very very kind of him it was mm -hmm. very very nice of him it was so the highlight I, I really liked going from St. Malo all the way to Moose Lake because I, Josh I think we only passed maybe a dozen cars that day and trucks yeah. Uh, there was uh, the traffic was very very quiet it was quite uh that day was pretty long though i have to say yeah it was very long because we needed to make it to moose lake um but it was uh not so windy as i remember no it was very windy was it no it wasn't no and okay. the supper we had there at south junction was also very good that was the best taco salt i think i've ever had yeah it was really really good uh that was a really really good restaurant uh i just loved the scenery there i liked how we were coming into the uh, Canadian Shield and uh, the forest. I think it's still uh, the Sandyland Forest we passed. Yeah. And I really liked Moose Lake. It was very, very nice at Moose Lake. Got really cold overnight. Yeah, it got freezing overnight. Uh, but it was very nice at Moose Lake. Our bikes and our tent. And we have a nice view right on the lake just walk right across the road and there is moose lake the lake and then I actually really liked the bike ride from Moose Lake all the way to West Hawk um, it was very difficult to bike because it was all on gravel there was almost what 75 kilometers of gravel there was a little too much yeah a little bumpy and it's pretty dusty when a car goes by you can imagine a little windy today too. It's a little difficult. Still traveling north on the 308 and here's East Braintree. Wow, this is probably one of the most difficult days we've had. Biking into the wind on the gravel. I'm exhausted. There we are. The other bike ride that I really enjoyed was after our rest day in West Hawk Lake, we took our bikes through uh, Whiteshell Provincial Park. 
Uh, what I did not like about it was all the traffic after lunchtime. It was yeah, that extremely was... dangerous because that road is so narrow. Uh, and uh, we, there was no shoulder. Uh, we tried to find that Trans-Canada Trail through there. We took that for a bit. I think that's what um, broke some of my spokes because of the terrain yeah. and the weight of our equipment on the back of our bike racks. Uh, I think that's probably what really did me in finally. Uh, and that's when I had sort of noticed uh, even before that uh, in Moose Lake on the gravel, uh, something was wrong with my wheel. Yeah, uh, I should have attended to it sooner than later. Josh's favorite day on the whole bike ride was riding Mountain National Park. And I have to say my favorite day was either going to Turtle Mountain Provincial Park or Whiteshell Provincial Park or Moose Lake Provincial Park. Uh, those were very beautiful bike rides. Uh, the parks themselves were nice. Uh, Moose Lake is a very small park compared to Turtle Mountain and Whiteshell. Uh, so we didn't really get a chance to explore Moose Lake a whole lot. Uh, we simply just camped there for the night and enjoyed uh, the ride from Moose Lake all the way to West Hawk Lake where we stayed in Whiteshell Provincial Park. Yeah. So Whiteshell Provincial Park was really nice to bike through. We saw a few bears, uh, a few deer. Uh, that's in the video. Uh, you can see that. And we also saw a turtle on our rest day at uh, West Hawk Lake, just outside of West Hawk Lake. That was quite interesting. And the bike ride was r really nice. It was really, really nice to go through. However, it was extremely dangerous. Uh, we stayed at Otter Falls. We ate lunch at White Lake, I think it was. Again, a taco salad, not as good as the taco salad in South Junction, but it was really, really nice biking through there, staying at Otter Falls, uh, resting, and then getting up and going to uh, Seven Sisters, Pinawa, and Lac de Bonnie, where we ended our trip. Uh, so I think if I had to choose, it probably was our time in Whiteshell Provincial Park. So this is our last day. Thanks for watching. We'll hopefully post these videos as soon as we can. And thank you for subscribing and liking and sharing.